Hi there friends. One more reminder for you. The lead in meteor shower peaks tonight. We could see up to 20 meteors per hour. You want to look to the eastern sky. The lead in meteor shower is debris from Comet Temple Tuttle. What you want to go is go to a place that's pretty dark with no ambient light. Blue Ridge Parkway, for example, a good place to be. And you probably want to head up there relatively soon because clouds are going to be on the increase as we head, say, beyond 1, 2, 3 o'clock in the morning. There could even be a stray shower early on Saturday morning, say up towards the highlands, southern Shenandoah, between around 7 30 and maybe around 11 a.m. There could be that stray shower possibility into our northernmost counties. After that, we should be dry, even though tomorrow pretty much all day is going to be mostly cloudy. Maybe a few breaks of sun here or there. Better chances for rain come with a cold front as we head between around 9 and 10 30 Saturday evening is when the rain will likely start into our westernmost counties. Highlands south in the Mountain Empire and also into the New River Valley. Then that rain shield spreads east. It will be raining out across south side up north into Appomattox County Sunday at 3 a.m. AM. The rain showers then move east by the time we awaken on Sunday morning, and then we're going to turn our attention to some upslope snow showers in West Virginia. Pretty much on Sunday, we're looking at increasing sunshine with more sunshine east and a few more leftover pesky clouds out to the west. As far as how much rain we get Saturday night, I would say a tenth of an inch to around a half an inch of rain, and then we turn our attention Saturday night through Sunday night to some upslope snow showers. Good news for ski country in West Virginia. Snowshoe could pick up one to two inches of snow. Ditto for Quinwood. Even areas south South into White Top near Mount Rogers could pick up a half an inch to an inch and a half of rain with a coating possible out across parts of Bland and Taswell counties. Again, that's Saturday night into Sunday night. You head farther east, no snowfall accumulation at all. Kickoff forecast for those uh, college football games tomorrow. Virginia Tech hosts Pittsburgh at 12 20 53 with skies variably cloudy at kickoff. UVA kickoff is at noon in Miami 81 under partly to mostly sunny skies. JMU battles Elon, my alma mater, 60 degrees in beautiful Burlington under a mix of sun and clouds. And Liberty travels to South Carolina where temperatures will be a little bit warmer, highs around 70. Winds really pick up for us this weekend. We're breezy on Saturday, arguably windy as we head into Saturday night into the first part of Sunday. Could have some wind gusts Saturday night into Sunday over perhaps 40 to even 45 miles per hour. That makes wind chills likely in the 20s for us as we head into Sunday morning, even into the early afternoon hours of Sunday towards the highlands and also towards the New River Valley. Temperatures are actually going to feel more like the actual temperature out across south side because the winds aren't going to be as strong out into our easternmost areas. 50s return after a very chilly day on Sunday on Monday. Tuesday 59, 56 on Wednesday, Turkey Day, also Black Friday, look dry but cooler, temperatures upper 40s and lower 50s with a little more cloud cover.